I want to warn you guys in advance that this video is going to be more explicit than your typical MM2K video. Gaming has become a sport of outrage instead of enjoyment. This disgusting newfound culture has to stop. Here's my response to those leading this repulsive charge. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. And let you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Now, let's get into it. Okay, you know how your boy does it. You know what I mean? When I'm dropping these doses. First, I do the checkup. I do the analysis. And then I give you my overall thoughts which is the prescription. First, the checkup. Now, gamers have enjoyed this culture of gaming for many, many decades, including myself. It became a pop culture phenomenon starting in the mid 90s with the original PlayStation. Now that phenomenon has over time led to more greedy practices being brought forth, admittedly, okay? Therefore, it is important for gamers to unite and hold these companies true to the output that we want. However, at the same time, we cannot make what we want simply outrage, as you're seeing as of late, instead of unique and diverse experiences for all gamers. Now on to the analysis. The thing that spawned this video or recent, is the recent punching bag of those who thirst primarily for outrage. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, with over 20 hours personally of the game in the retail version and almost 50 hours Vita, Vita, the retail version in the betas, I can admit that the game is not perfect and more notably, it's not for everyone because of its tactical nature. You know what I'm saying? It takes away a lot of the boom and kaboom and it's straight tactical gameplay, all right? And that may not be for everybody and that's okay. That said, those standards are not good enough for the outrage culture they had to form like Voltron and spew their pathetic venom for those ever so luring outrage clicks. Here's what I think of those latest efforts. Now on to the prescription. First, I wanna address the notion of microtransactions in the game. All right, microtransactions are poorly implemented in this game, but for Ubisoft, not for the gamers. You get so much shit in this game, the game renders microtransactions useless besides skins. You have to be a fucking bonehead in order to get microtransactions for a gun. Therefore, it's not pay to win, you fucking turds. Let me explain how. Items in game are locked to a very short scale according to your current level. That's whether you're picking an item up or you fucking buy one. So let's just say, for instance, your gear score is 75. The best um, gear score for an item that you can get is around 95, okay? Those that play the game know that that range from 75 to 95 isn't that great of a gap, all right? And they know that whether you're buying it, okay, whether you decide to, like a dumbass, buy it through microtransactions, or you buy it in a store with in-game currency, or you just go walking around the fucking plateau or the area for five minutes, you're going to have the same likelihood of getting that item, okay? Just playing the fucking game, all right? It's the same result. It's the, the microtransactions clearly, if you're looking at it with an unbiased eye, it's clearly set up at this moment to be for those that don't want to traverse the plateau, that just want to hop in a helicopter and go from point A to point B. They don't want to engage in the fighting down below. That's not what MM2K does or a lot of people playing this game like to do. We like to traverse the terrain and we like to get into the little mini firefights on ground and therefore we get the same shit just rolling through. I got over eight videos on my twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000 shameless plug on my own shit channel showing you exactly that. Every two or three minutes, me and my colleagues that we're playing, the, that I'm playing the game with, we're stopping, going through our inventory. There is just too much shit to even think about microtransactions, okay? So there is no profound advantage. Stop it, you dumbasses. Stop. Secondly, <laughs> I want to talk 
and focus on the notion that microtransactions are just bad. We're going to take, like my, my man Z says, we're going to take the biggest knife out the drawer and cut the bullshit out right here and right now. Now, I refer to Amy Henning, right? Acclaimed writer for uh, of Naughty Dog, formerly of Naughty Dog, along with the uh, makers of Control. Their name loses me right now, okay? I'm so excited and spitting all over my pop filter. But they, along with other developers, not publishers, but developers, told you that with the soaring cost of development, it's hard to even break even on getting just $60 retail alone or just charging $60 retail alone for these AAA games. And again, this is not coming from greedy publishers. This is coming from the hardworking devs themselves. So those in the outrage culture, now, now follow me here. Now listen, let, 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 let's try to make this math work. Those in the outrage culture, they don't want any microtransactions at all. However, they expect fully fleshed out open world games at launch every two years from these same devs. And they're wondering why studios are closing or these devs are just focusing on the same shit. Get the fuck out of here. It makes no sense, you Mensa candidates. You're fucking idiots. And realize it. You're idiots for clicks. But that said, <laughs> let me give you two reasons why you guys are just dumbasses. First, let's look at the division. Let's look at a game that out the gate hammered you, unadulterated you with content. People love that for two months and then they ran through the content. Even though the division kept pouring you and pouring you with content. Gamers show you that as much content as you give them, they'll gobble it up just as fast, okay? So just coming out the gate with content ain't the answer. And people like the content. So that's not truly the answer, you know what I'm saying? Also, let's look at Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's look at a single player game primarily or the single player aspect of it. All that development marvel in regards to the immersiveness of the game, the, 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 the horse shitting on you and all this other crazy shit happening and the movements and all that immersiveness in the game, that was made possible because of what? GTA 5 microtransactions. They weren't able to have the manpower to hire 3,000 people to work off this game because they listened to some doofus ass YouTuber and followed his mantra. No, money talks. And therefore I take the words on the financial struggles of solely getting just $60 for games, triple A, top notch triple A uh, games at that from the devs, opposed to any buck tooth doofus wearing ashy ass Commodore 64 hats for his pathetic stick any day. Now, <laughs> on to the last tasty tidbit. Lastly, I want to address the notion that we should not defend games that we like. Okay. All right. So all you, again, you uh, buck tooth pieces of shit. <laughs> Let me explain this to you. Okay. As a long-term gamer, someone has been gaming for many decades, over 30 plus years. I, I want to bring you to reality. We call this um, in, in my profession to come into Jesus speech. I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring you mammy jammies to Jesus. If I paid $60 for a game or if anybody pays $60 for a game that hits all the points that they like or that I like, and they are key to the things that we were looking for, but they're not good enough for you. Who the fuck cares? So the fuck what? You entitled little turd sickles. Who the fuck said that every goddamn game has to suit your fucking needs? You guys have plenty of guardrail, story-driven, single-player games that suit those same dumbass fucking needs. Also, you got your Call of Duty that suits suit your mindless Roman shoot needs every fucking year. All right? Leave us the fuck alone. And when I say us, those who want to experience different things that don't mind hopping in those experiences early and watching them flourish, okay? And you know what? It's the same with microtransactions. It's my fucking money. Now I get it. Games like Battlefront 2 had egregious microtransactions and that needed, people needed to stand up to that. I'm not talking about that. 
I'm talking about people that just don't like the idea of microtransactions at all, but still again want these AAA experiences day one. It don't make any fucking sense. And regardless of that, if my microtransactions isn't hampering your experience like how I describe in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, then why the fuck do you care? It's my money. Honestly, dealing with you fucking turds, I feel like I'm in a dictatorship or banana republic, okay? Because you want to amputate my and all other gamers' ability to choose to support what we like. Fuck you, you whiny ass Similac breath runts. I've been gaming longer than you motherfuckers have existed. Period. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to like? You entitled little runts. You know what? I've said enough. With that, I take from my homie Willie D. Your mama should be ashamed of you and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk.